rise in living costs are starting to hammer at our mental health. Nearly two-thirds of people feel more worried about spending than they did even six months ago. That's according to a Sky News poll. One in five people said they're losing sleep over it. Well, that comes as prices rise at their fastest rate for 40 years. There's not much we can do to stop that. But what we can do is offer you advice on how to look after yourself. I'm joined now by Lena Mukherjee, a counsellor and a psychotherapist from the Arboretum and a regular on our show. It's always Yay. great to have you on, Lena. Thank you for coming on again. Um, yeah, this is, this is tricky, isn't it? Because like you say, there's nothing you can do about the, the physicality and about things changing. There's only things you can do to help yourself mentally. So how, how do we cope? Lovely to see you on my telly, mate. You know, and <laughs> you're asking me to go. I think the, the, the first thing is to recognize how you're feeling and how you're reacting because then you've got some choices out. And it's a horrible time, it really is. And it's feeling like you're trapped. Where can I go? So, the key thing is, is very gently lifting your head up and going, Right, what is my situation? Is this said and done? As you come to terms with perhaps your fear, your absolute worry, thinking what next, and the sleep. So it's how to look after yourself in terms of sleep, eating, and talking. So it's really important. And it's that thing, is it? Words over in your head. I think it's. I'm not saying it's more difficult if you if you have kids, if there's a family, yeah. but I suppose that's an added stress, isn't it? Because you you just naturally tend to put them first, um, yes. and you don't want them to see that you're worrying as well. Do you know what? I'm going to, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm going to share, decide to share some, some personal stuff here because this is what happened to me as a child. My dad got into debt and it's what he did was try to protect us and it made it worse because what he was not wanting to do was to let on what the situation was. And this was in the 1980s recession, so we're going back quite well. And my poor dad was so stressed because he didn't tell us what was going on. And once he did, there was a huge relief because it was like, now we know why dad was behaving like this and what we need to do as a family. So the key thing is, is about informing what's going on. Children know. <laughs> Families know. So it was like saying, dad, you know, we, we can do this together. And we did. We did in the end. But to see him suffering was, made us even more worried than actually then dealing with what we had to. And I guess, like you say, children know, but they don't necessarily... They can read signs, but they don't necessarily know what those signs are about. So just being open and honest, and I guess. And I suppose that's the same in a relationship, isn't it? Or with, whether that's with yeah. friends or with a partner. Because, yes. you know, nobody knows what's going on behind, behind open eyes. No. And do you know what I love about this show, uh, is that we can talk like this, because it's a combination of where shame becomes pride, and then, you know, stick your head in the sand. But actually, the stress that you put yourself then under, it's almost like not using the resources that we've got so good friendships or actually going to get some independent help where you won't be judged and you you can get a sense of perspective back that you'll be supported by as well and i definitely advocate that now how do we do that because uh just funny enough my partner and i were talking about this yesterday and saying there are the two options there's a private option but at this time when we're talking yes. about saving money that may not be the for most people yeah. the best option. Yes. How, how do people go about that you know, who right. does the option? Right, first of all, our Citizens Advice Bureau, absolutely fantastic sort of resource of support and signposting. There's also MIND to go and get some mental health um, support. Check out your GP and see what health and um, counselling provision they offer there. Debt advice, there's loads of debt advice charities now for free and they will help you basically plan out perhaps a, a, a budget scheme that can support you and your bank talk to your bank that's what my dad did in the end and actually got us out of a really big mire his bank manager was great yeah, well, yeah that's i mean i've been there in the past when i was young and foolish and now i'm older and foolish but um and yeah it's funny because you want to bury your head in the sand but but actually once you make that that connection oh. and go look you find out oh do you know i had nothing to worry about yeah. i'm not so much to worry about and you can and well and well done you for sharing that story too, because it's real and it's overcoming your, I have to say, your shame and your pride. Yeah, that's what it is, what? isn't it? It is. And if we can just tolerate it and just get through that door or pick up that phone, oof, the relief. Because the other thing I was going to say as well, Al, you're saying about free resources, check out if your company offers an EAP, Employee Assistance Programme. I work for them. 
and, and support people through that way. And you can get, often get free counselling and debt advice and legal advice. Amazing. Lena, we never have enough time for all the things we want to chat about, but um, it's always great to have you on. One day, come and sit on the settee, please, and we'll get you in. I, we will. You, we will. And, we, and I, I love it, because I, I was the last one on the show, on the last show, wasn't I, with the old <laughs> yeah. set. And I was saying, it's, it's awfully habitat. It's very it nice. does. It's, it's lovely, and it goes with your top. Thank you, Lena. Great advice, as always. Lena, <laughs> Lena Mukherjee. Now,